Hope everyone's doing well. Today we are going to be making the list. I'm gonna be doing a couple of minor chores on it, but primarily it's just about the list today. Uh, yeah, there's some stuff that needs to be done. We're gonna try to try to at least start aiming in the right direction. So let's get started. You gotta love some of the technology of the 80s. They thought this one through. Look, you can actually unzip the seat cover. So this whole thing can go in the washer. And that's what I'm gonna do with it. Now you see that little ring, I've only got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 more of those. I'm going to be here for a minute. As stated, cover is off. The only major tear in it is right there. That's pretty well hidden from sight, but um, I don't know, I might throw a patchy. Onto the bottom of the seat. All right, well, the seat shouldn't be that difficult. I've already taken the foam rubber out of this. See, it's got this nifty little guide rail here. It should just allow the piece to come out. Like so. Now, I need both hands for this, and I do not have the tripod right now, so I'll get back with you in just a moment. Okay, okay. So. That's out, that's out, and they're going in the washer. Now, you're starting to see, the car is actually in really good shape. But, I'm guessing we're gonna need a floor plan. <laughs> we need a floor plan. I'm guessing we're gonna need a floor pan, judging by how that seat is sitting. And, how mobile it is. I think, this mount right here is done. Me being as big as I am, if I'm going to use this as a daily driver, we're definitely going to need to, uh, yeah, we're going to have to have some support in there. Uh, I had already begun this video when I realized exactly how rancid the inside of this car smelled. Uh, not certain that something hasn't died in here, so... I'm going to take the front seats out, I'm going to take the carpet out, padding, try to clean everything. Uh, as you can see from the back, the seat backs and covers are already out, disassembled, and I've already got one complete. This is actually the seat back. No, 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 no. Yeah, this is, yeah, okay, that, that is, that's the seat back. So, uh, that's already been through the wash and cleaned and... That's ready to go back in, but I can't deal with that smell anymore, so this part of the uh, video is just going to be me pulling these seats out and trying to get that carpet out of there. After that, I'll clean it up and we can finally really take stock of what, what the uh, interior of the car looks like, especially 
over here on this floorboard. I'm worried about that because that's the first place they all rot. So here we go. Well, folks, without uh, without removing the rest of the carpeting and trim pieces that need to come out before the carpet can actually leave the car, I can tell you that we're going to need a new floor pan, at least on this side, possibly the other. Thought I might show you guys this before I actually pitch the uh, carpeting. Oh, this is just rancid. Oh man. <coughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. that. Uh, yeah, the carpeting is toast, but it does give me a better show of the things that I need for repairing the floor pan plan. Floor, see, I did it again. Floor pan. So, she's got some rust. It's not, it's not the worst I've ever seen, but over there, that had already rusted through and somebody did a shoddy patchwork repair job. I'm going to go over there in a moment and show you, but, uh, yeah, this wasn't terrible, but I think I'm going to see if I can't convince John to just, just put a new patch in, uh, the, the whole bottom part of the pan. I'm going to see if I can't get him to take care of that for me. Otherwise, I'm going to have to buy a new floor pan. Hey, I did it right that time. And the whole thing is going to have to go in. So, uh, let me walk over to the other side and I'll take that shot. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, when it's just an old beater that you're trying to keep running, that's fine. But it's not an old beater that I'm trying to keep running anymore. I want this to be... A fun street toy so we're gonna do what we can to save it I'm gonna vacuum everything out put the, that back seat back in and uh, John should be here 
tomorrow to have a good long look, and I'll see if I can't convince him to do the uh, do the audio so that you guys can hear it from an ASE mechanic himself. So I'm gonna try to get started on these seats. Alrighty. I don't know if you can smell this. Smell it. Smell it. Actually, this smells so much better. And once I get it put back on the uh, uh, frame and the padding, my beautiful, loving wife is going to come and stitch this up for me. That is the only major issue that I see on it. So, yeah. Pretty good. Set her back in there. And remember, Foggy is going to take care of this just a little bit. All right, so I've got Johnny B, my favoriteest mechanic in the world here. He's going to run through a list for everybody of the things that we need to get done on the shove it. So, uh, I mean, immediately, um, immediately to get it ready for the road, you have to obviously do things like fluids, okay. oil filter, trans fluid filter. Um, a timing belt because that rubber's been sitting for several years is degraded and you don't want that to happen. Um, anything rubber really needs to go, belts, hoses, tires, seals, okay. um, fuel filter, even though it runs, really probably ought to drain that gas tank out and make sure we don't have anything growing in the bottom of that. Okay. Um, obviously, floorboards. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. Do you want to yeah. step over there and yeah. show the folks? Obviously, uh, time is taking its toll on the Corvette sitting around, and they've already been patched once, um, quite poorly, might I add. So, um, yeah, going to have to make a couple seat supports on this side, 
get these four boards out of here. We need to get some rust converter on that side okay. to stop that from growing anymore. That can be, really it ought to be replaced, but it can be mitigated. Right. Um, but on this side, you're talking um, welding, riveting something, making four pans if they're not available. Um, yeah, there, there's got to be some work done here, but um, you know, overall, it's a solid, it's way more solid base than any oven that you're going to find. I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing the kind of shape it's in for sitting the amount of time that it has. Okay. So, I mean, really, it already runs. Um, so, really, just basics. Um, the tune-up might not even be a bad idea, but it just really depends on how far you want to get into it. You know, just basic plug wires, cap rotor. Um, all right, yeah. what about locating the parts and pieces, the new seats and door cards? And we're going to paint it eventually. It's going to be a nice uh, either 10 mile deep or pearl metallic black. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about how difficult that stuff will be? I just really, I don't know what kind of restoration parts there are for a Chevette these days. Um, or if there ever really was, I'm sure somebody makes them bound to be used. I think we could probably, the door cards are pretty bad, but I think we could probably bring them around, uh, a little pressure washing, and, um, scrubbing, a little vinyl dressing. I think we could bring them around to where they were salvageable. I mean, they may not be 100% they'd be salvageable. Obviously, the dash, um, that's probably not going to make the cut. No. So, but um, steering wheel, if we can get the Chia Pet rubbed off of it <laughs> we might be okay with that but um, yeah I don't think I mean it's it sounds like a lot but I, it's not gonna be that bad I've, I've tackled worse all right well <clears throat> John I appreciate it um, Absolutely. I think uh, I think the worst part of this is just that floorboard don't you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, we got to get underneath it and look around, look around at uh, you know frame rails and whatnot. But it's a unibody car. Yeah. Uh, if if memory serves, it's a unibody car. So really, there's not a whole lot of frame rails to rust out. I mean, once we get the Ford pan rebuilt, then you know we can go on from there. But it already runs and drives and moves around on its own. So right. Um, oh yeah, we probably ought to look at some brakes. You know, we're talking about all the ghost yeah. stuff, but we haven't even talked about brakes yet. And, uh, do the brakes even work on it? The brakes do work. They are on the floor, but they're functional. I've, I've found that the uh, reservoir, the rear reservoir, is dry. Well, if that's dry, then we're probably looking at some brake line repair, possibly rear wheel cylinders. Okay. And uh, packing the front wheel bearings to get okay. that grease out of there. So, so some paint, some well, new... Paint Floorboards. Paint, paint. You're talking about number one thousand on the list. I know, I know, but I'm, I'm <laughs> trying to trying to help these folks right here uh, to see the future of the car. Oh yeah, YouTube people. I yeah, those about. YouTubers. Those YouTubers. <laughs> anyway, so imagine it as a really nice black with some decent rims and tires. Uh, maybe a black interior, red highlights all over it. And John and I have made a plan together about, I uh, probably shouldn't mention it, but I'm going to because uh, I, I really I wanted, to, wanted it to be a surprise. But we've both had a dream for years about 4.3 swapping, 4.3 liter swapping a Chevette. And there's a Chevette. And I'm um, still going to take you guys along the journey of um, taking one from city in the field to driving every day. So. We'll still go through the motions on that because we want to get it running and driving before we do the swap because that's going to be months or years down the road. Right. So you're still going to see the process of bringing one out of a, out of the weeds and making it functional again, um, which there's, there's several of those videos on the internet, but you're going to see the way that we do it. Um, so, you know, bringing one out of the weeds, rejuvenating it, making it roadworthy again. And then fun. And then fun. And in the process of doing that, you'll see some footage of us um, going and getting a junkyard 4.3 liter and going through it, regasking it, and doing ring gap and stuff, and getting it ready for um, getting ready for a turbo. <laughs> so, Yay, turbo. turbo. <laughs> uh, the, 
everybody's favorite spinny thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that about does it for this video. Uh, from here on, we're not going to call it Chevette Salvation anymore. We're going to call it Project Psycho.